Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat have just beat the Charlotte Hornets. And the win is bittersweet. Not because I want to play the Brooklyn Nets in the first round, you guys. You know I said this over and over. But there's some interesting things that we need to discuss. But what's up, YouTube? This your boy, Scotty Ice, and I'm back at it with another banging video. Before we get started, we have to get the YouTube stuff out of the way. The goal for the channel is 6,000 subscribers before July. And the only way we'll get to that goal if you guys give me the HBO special. The HBO special is the Help a Brother Out special. So help a brother out and smash that subscribe button. And also, like the video. Also, whenever I get to 1,100 followers on Instagram, I'll be giving away a free NBA jersey of your choice. All you have to do is follow me. And once I get to 11,000 subscribers on YouTube, all you have to do is comment jersey in my DMs and be a follower on Instagram and you have a chance to win an NBA jersey. I'll be going on live stream, you guys, so it'll be real and I promise you, you don't want to miss it. Now, I don't want to waste any time, you guys. So DC, let's get it. Now you guys, like I've said before, the Miami Heat have just beat the Charlotte Hornets 121 to 111. And the thing about it is, which makes it bittersweet is, Jimmy Butler had 18 points, Bam had 20, Nunn had 19, Duncan Robinson had 10, Detman had 14, and Dragic had 18. Now of course, I know what you're thinking, that's a balanced power of attack. They had 6 players in double digit points, and that's amazing. That's why I really believe in this team and why they are the Eastern Conference champions. This is why I believe they'll make it to the NBA Finals once again. And honestly, I don't want to see this team fall apart. Now, I don't want to skip to the offseason, but the Miami Heat will have a difficult decision because Trevor Ariza contract is up. And I'm pretty sure he'll resign with the team. But as far as Duncan Robinson, the youngest player who ever scored 500 three pointers, his contract will be up. Kendrick Nunn, his contract will be up. Victor Aladipo wants to resign with the Miami Heat. So it'll be hard and difficult to see how they manage all of these contracts. Of course, like I've seen before, Dragic and Andre Godala have team options. And most likely, they'll get out of those deals to sign a lesser deal to stay with the Miami Heat. Of course, they'll be given the HBO special like you guys need to do with me. Help me out, guys. Subscribe. But nonetheless, this team has a great chance to make it to the finals. And if you're a true Miami Heat fan, which I know a lot of you guys are, and what that means is one of your fan favorites will be gone. Tyler Hero, he's a fan favorite, even though he's frustrating at times. One day he plays good, one day he's playing not focused, and it really hurts the team. But he has so much potential and he's a young player and none he's great he's been balling he's been the most consistent player on the miami heat and that's as far as staying healthy playing on the court and playing in a positive role one day none can play and if harrow comes back and starts balling out then you won't hear a word from him the guy is a true professional before the hero business you didn't hear a word from the miami heat all you saw was straight gameplay and that's what i love about this organization these guys are serious to the t the question is, they want to get Kawhi Leonard. Do you think a lot of these guys will take a lesser deal just to get him brought in? And truth be told, one of these players will have to go. I just want to know who that player will be. Honestly, this isn't a take that I really wanted to make. I just want to talk to the Miami Heat Nation personally. If we had to trade to get a superstar, then what two players on the roster currently would you trade to get that player? And what are the chances you think that Kawhi Leonard join South Beach next season. Also, like I said before, congratulations to Duncan Robinson to becoming the youngest player to get 500 three-pointers. Your service is greatly appreciated. Also, you guys, make sure you follow me on Instagram and smash that subscribe button. I appreciate all the love and the support. This your boy, Scotty Ice, AKA Baby Brian, AKA the Black Skip Bayless, and you already know, I'm out.